So I have this 1989 John, or Evinrude actually, 25 horsepower. Uh, it's got really low hours on it. See it still has the tested sign. It looks like it's in really good condition. It was a garage find. Um, still kind of has all the stickers on it. Um, paint's really good, a little dust, but otherwise very clean for its age. So I thought it would be interesting to check the compression, the cylinder compression on it, uh, since it's an older motor, but it doesn't look like it has had a lot of use. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna check top cylinder first and then the bottom cylinder. So I have this handy dandy compression tester. You can check the video description uh, for a link to one on Amazon. They're pretty cheap and pretty handy, especially if you're buying an old motor. You wanna make sure that the compression is good and the compression is even. So I'm expecting compression um, above 90 PSI, hopefully, and I hope that they're really close um, relative to each other. You don't wanna buy a motor that's much over five or 10 PSI difference between the cylinder. So for instance, if you had one that you tested at 100 PSI in the top cylinder and 80 PSI in the bottom, um, that's not good, that's 20 PSI difference. So that's one thing you wanna check for. Or that it cranks easily. If it cranks cold in a couple of pulls, then uh, honestly I wouldn't worry too much about it depending on what you wanna use it for. But we're gonna test this one out and hopefully um, get some good data to kinda inform our judgment in the future and hopefully your judgment if you're looking to buy one of these old motors. To remove the spark plug, it takes a 21 millimeter socket, pull the boot off like that, pull it to the side. On these motors, it's really easy to remember which boot goes to what. This one, short one goes to the top and its other boot is located at the top here. But we just take a 21 millimeter socket. It's really the only way you can get these off is with one of these deep well sockets. And you wanna make sure you're going counterclockwise, pop it loose. Once you get it loose, you can by hand remove spark plug. So, and just for grins, we'll remove the bottom one as well. Wanna make sure though that you don't let any debris get in there, any dirt. If yours is really dirty, you just wanna be careful about that. I'll leave this one loose for right now so we don't get anything in there. Next, you'll take your compression tester and make sure you don't cross thread. And I just run it in there hand tight. Take your other end if you have one like this and connect it. And you're gonna to wanna to come over here and you'll probably give it, I don't know, four or five good pulls. You can see right at 90, just shy of 90. See if I can get it any higher. Nope, staying right there. So we'll call that one, uh, truthfully it's at 85, 85 PSI. So it's a little less than I would like actually. Maybe that's okay. Maybe there's some old timers out there in the YouTube world that can chime me in, leave a comment, correct me where I'm wrong. Um, I don't mind being corrected, but she cranks really easily, so that's noteworthy. Runs really well. Hasn't been used a lot, so I'm not worried about it. But that is a little bit lower. This is a good example of a little bit of paint chip came off with the uh, there on the edge. So got to be careful with that debris. Maybe 
back this one off a little bit actually. So we got that in there. This one looks to be right at 87 and a half. So they're really close in compression, which is excellent. That's probably the main reason it starts so easily. But um, I don't know, maybe, maybe since it's got low hours on it, it might, uh, it might not be broken in. I don't know. But this is how you test the compression on a uh, old outboard motor. Um, these are good compression values. So, um, I don't think anything's wrong with the motor, but I have heard people on forums and I've seen compression high, uh, values that are higher than 90 PSI. So thanks for watching. If you got any advice, tips, uh, leave a comment in the video and make sure to check out the video description for the link to the compression tester so you can test your motor out. Thanks for watching.